Friends, charioteers, car enthusiasts, O oh, ye whose heartbeats are in tune with technology, ye intrepid believers in time travel, fascinated by the future. What traces do past ages leave in the wake of their grand epochs and mighty civilizations? By their contests, ye shall know them. By the grand remains of sites where they challenged each other in competition. The Mayans had their sites of contest. Ancient Greeks invented the Olympic disciplines. Gladiators taught us much about fame and honor. Knights in the Middle Ages jousted, and a simple wooden board is the arena of chess. Each culture has platforms to find those victorious or unhappy in defeat. What about today's modern age? new mighty arena has been determined. We are talking about the arena of innovation and technical advancement of mobility. But for the first time in the history of mankind, we are in a situation where there are no clear winners and losers in the contest. Within the arena of technology, here and today, it's about all of us. There's everything to play for. And our intelligence and power of innovation are the deciders. This is why I'm incredibly honored today to introduce a real fighter, a true Olympian belonging to the Mount Olympus of car technology itself. And I said today that he has flung his spear of constructive ideas so far into the future that he is peerless and without equal in the field of automobile innovation. The world's first production car, road traffic compatible, yet fit for racing, electric, but not in need of stationary battery charging. It creates electricity in its methanol powered fuel cell. Natalie reaches up to 300 kilometers per hour and is not restricted by any real range limit. It's the first time that technological feasibility is not only put into practice, but catapulted to a completely new level. It's one of those once-in-a-lifetime innovations which will declare us and the whole of the car industry winners. A future place in the Hall of Fame of Mobility for this vehicle is already a certainty. We are presenting it right here, right now. I welcome, from the bottom of my heart, the developer, the inventor and pioneer, one of the conceivers of the Audi Quattro, the enabler of victories of so many rally legends. The revolutionary of drive, without fear of range limit. The tamer and champion of hydrogen. The man who makes a reality of our dreams, of zero to a hundred in 2.5 seconds. And with an environmentally friendly boost, I welcome the Olympian, the gladiator of electricity, with his brand new chariot. Join me in welcoming a legend of car construction and the creator of the new and already legendary Natalie, the one and only, the established and the new, the genius inventor of lightning speed, the horsepower whisperer, the quantum leaping engineer, Roland Gumpert.
it's not so easy to give a short speech after having been introduced in such a manner. Dear journalists, dear guests, dear friends, come a little bit closer. It's a family atmosphere here. It's now one year we have presented the first prototype Gumpert Natalie at the Geneva Motor Show. And uh, my idea of an electric car is that it doesn't stop when the battery is dead. Now, one year later, here in Ingolstadt, we are standing again to present the first production car with a methanol fuel cell. And uh, we are really very proud to have managed everything within the last 30 months from founding the company to this point in time here today. It was a big challenge and a very strong effort. Thanks to our partner company, Iways, it was possible. They supported us every time. And a very, very big thank you also to my friend and Iways CEO, Fu Kiang. None of this would have been possible without his commitment. This bond, this reliability and trust was very important, especially in those days where we really have to come back to real values. A big thank you, and I'm also very grateful to my employees and partners. Some of them are here today. We have grown together and have become a family a family of car makers who are very close, who fought together with great enthusiasm for this revolution in the car technology every day during the past 30 months. This agility together combined with a lot of commitment has helped us to get into production this car in such incredible short time. Well, I don't want to speak too long. Time moves very quick those days and we are much more reflective. I would like to leave it to the new, younger generation to make the very best out of the Gumpert developments. Uh, my daughter Magdalena will show you this new production car of the automobile revolution. Dear Magda, it's all yours. The world is listening to you now. Dear journalists and sports car enthusiasts, I'm going to introduce you to a car today that goes by my sister's name. My father just told you that it's all about the automobile revolution. That's exactly what we want to show you here today. This car is the world's first production car with a methanol fuel cell. We transform the methanol energy source into electricity, which propels the car. Methanol is an alcohol and it's less dangerous than gasoline. It can be refilled easily and quickly, just like gas or diesel. We don't have to build and design new gas stations and can stop wasting our resources on such an enormously expensive undertaking. We can effectively use the existing industrial infrastructure of gas stations. Our energy companies can focus instead on producing energy more cost-effectively and sustainably. My generation is more resource and energy conscious. I hope the right people hear this important message. Hydrogen can become an important component for the electric automobiles in the future and we have the technology to bind it safely as methanol and unbind it to generate energy. This revolution is here today in form of this new production car. 
This technology currently produces 15 kW in continuous power filling the battery. Our onboard generating power is so vast that we can load the battery faster than the energy needed for continuous city driving. The same goes for country driving. You don't have to worry about the vehicle's maintenance either. In addition to a concierge service, the well-known and popular Bosch service will provide maintenance. But today, I don't only want to present this revolutionary technology. I want to show you what is so out of this world about this new technology. This car is a super sports coupe with 400 kilowatts of power. We have improved it a lot for production. The front of the car was designed a bit more bold to match its sports image. We have incorporated the next generation of green technology by using recyclable natural fibers over 50% of the vehicle skin instead of non-recyclable carbon fibers. The design of the rear of the car is much more pronounced and aggressive. To top it off, the first edition has a unique paint job and special equipment. It's a limited edition and available at the end of the year 2020. Let me repeat, this car is a limited edition. This car is excellent for cruising with Bella Machina in the beautiful September sun of the Côte d'Azur or throughout the winding passes of Tuscany. You don't have to be afraid of a dead battery. With only a small reserve gas can of methanol, you'll be sure to reach Florence and beyond. Or you could take a quick detour to Muello, ideal with the Natalie first edition. The car is equipped with a Fiat Compaign tubular frame and ready for the racetrack. And yes, soon we will also be heading for the racetrack with the Natalie race. We will participate in a FIA-approved race series, EPCS. In this series, we will compete against Tesla, Audi, Porsche, among others. Before I end up the suspense, let me point out one more interesting change. As befits a sports car with super sport jeans, it has no ordinary doors. Please come and see by yourself. Say hello to the world, Natalie First Edition.